Yeah, hi everybody, it's Melissa. I wanted to make this video, um, this was a video request, um, which I think is great, and I just want to say that um, I got a few video request emails, um, or actually they were asking questions on this, and for me, rather than doing all the typing, and I'm not the greatest with the computer, so rather than doing all that, and I think it'll benefit um, both you and I, it's easier for me to do a video and show you the things versus typing it all out. And I hope this helps you. And I, you know, I appreciate anybody that has a question. I'd be glad to help. I wish somebody was around to help me back when I started, but I guess that's how you learn. But um, anything that I can help with, any, you know, any questions that you might have, I appreciate your emails. And as soon as I possibly can, I'll try to um, answer them to the best of my abilities. Um, but for this particular video, um, someone had emailed me. Her name was Jasmine. So hi, Jasmine. Thank you for emailing me, um, but she basically emailed me and she wanted to do, this was back on my, I think my first video, um, she had some questions about the um, baby diaper favors to make for um, a baby shower. So what she wanted to know was, she said exactly what did you use and what brand and where can they get it from and I think it was her cousin, she said her cousin has a baby shower on December 3rd and she wanted to make that for her and she's having a little girl and the colors of her theme are pink and purple and she said also if you have any other great ideas please let me know so basically I just wanted to show um, just so there was no confusion what what was used for this and this was not my idea this was um, I got it from she has a great video too tutorial this was a really long time ago so I'll try to tell you to my best and I have a link on my actual video of where to go to find the template. It's a little tough to find the template. You just have to go on her website and because this is an older um, an older thing that she had done, I think it's on the bottom right somewhere. On the right hand side it'll say something like baby shower and diaper template or something like that, printable template. And she has, as long as it's still on there, a free printable template. And it will look like, well I guess it will look something this is what it looks like cut out and this is my one I saved. I cut this out of chipboard and I just labeled it baby, baby diaper template um, because I thought I'd maybe use it in the future which is good because I am going to be using it again. But this is the funny looking thing is what it's going to look like. So this is basically what you're looking for on her website which I think is scrap, scrap food but um, I think also her name, I don't know how this is incorporated but I think her name might be um, the paper pusher or paper pusher or something because I think she may have worked for Stampin Up um, and she has a great video that she shows and that's where I got it from and then I just put my own twist on it um, so anyway this is what it's going to look like once you cut it out but the printable template um, will print on regular um, 8.5 by 11 you can do it even on a printer piece of paper because you're basically using that for a template and then whatever type of cardstock um, you use, um, you can, you know, then trace it on there. Unless you want to print it, you could also print it because, um, your printer, your regular printer will print this eight and a half by 11 paper cardstock if you want to just do it that way. But I didn't want the lines on there. Plus my paper was kind of thick, the cardstock I use. So it was easy enough just doing it on any cheap piece of paper. And then even if you want to do what I did and put it on the, um, chipboard so you can save it, um, to trace around it. So it's a little stiff around the edges. Um, but what I did, and I'll share, you know, what I did, and you can always add your own twists on it or any changes you want to make. It's not showing up too well on the camera, but I just want to show, just to save your paper, because paper can get expensive, and, you know, you can always reuse the scraps or whatever. But what I did, even though it prints out like this, so it's going to be one template on her thing um, per piece of paper, but I went and I cut this out, so then I used this to trace um, two... I could get two diapers per eight and a half by eleven sheet. So instead of wasting the one and put it in the middle and only getting one out of each sheet, I did one this way. And the reason I did it like this, and you can do it whatever, where I turned it upside down, because I was being lazy and that's the less hand cutting. Because I'm used to my Cricut here, that usually does all the cutting. But this is one thing you do by hand. So it's not cut out by machine. So you don't need any machine for this if you don't have it, which is great for beginners or maybe people who aren't even into scrapbooking. But. Um, so you can do it all by hand. You don't have to invest in anything um, real expensive. So I basically turned it around like this, traced it around here, and you can kind of see the pencil marks here. And then I, when I went up to the top of the paper, I flipped it around like this. So that way, that's 
that's a little less cutting that you have to do because you just use the edge that's already cut and then you're only basically cutting around here. Same thing with here when it's turned around, you only cut around this part and that's already cut for you. So I, I just brought the template down to the very bottom edge of it and then you just take your scissors and cut out, you know, and I did this with my husband. We were watching a movie um, and I just, did, I traced all my things earlier and I brought it down, you know, in the living room and sat on the couch with the light and I just trimmed out all these, you know, just by watching a movie and, you know, just cut them out by scissors and cut them all around and had all my forms. So then, so that's that. So um, once you, once you cut out your papers, and I think it's cute, Jasmine, that you, um, that she's having a little girl because, um, and pink and purple is my favorite, hence my, my whole craft room's purple and love the purple. So that, this ought to be fun for you and you could do them up cute. So I thought I'd cut out a sample for you. So this is what it's going to look like once you cut it out. And this is on cardstock. Um, you could probably use any type of, you know, medium weight to, you know, not, I wouldn't use super thin just so it's, you know, sturdy enough to hold whatever the treats you are, decide the treats you decide to put in there. So here's an old sample. This was from the boy ones that I did. And you could um, decorate it any which way you want. If you wanted to do, and I think it would be fun for girl because you can get away with a lot more. I had this little that I would have loved to use um, for um, my best friend's shower, but she was having a boy like you saw. So I had to make the boyish things. And I have little punches like this. And this is just an idea for you. Um, so basically what you do, once you have the paper, I'm going to show you and then I'll show you my idea. Um, I would just, you just fold them like this and I, you can do it however way you want it. Um, my mom thought it looked more like a diaper like this if you put the piece in the front. However, this one is a throwaway example one, but, um, cause I didn't really care for that. I kind of like it better like this. It looked a little neater to me. But you can do it however you like. And what my idea would be for you is maybe if she's pink and purple, and say you do, that's why I did this sample for you in purple, I cut it out. Um, so say here's your diaper and this is purple. I would take, let me do it, let me see if I can grab a pink scrap. I would take um, some pink paper and take any, you know, maybe a punch like this. I think I have a smaller one because this one may end up being too big. So I would just punch out. Let me see if I can get it. Of course I can't on camera. Punch out two pink flowers. I may end up needing this smaller flower punch, which I have too. So um, I think what would be really cute is if you did. Um, and the way I adhered these, you can do it however you want. I've seen people use that strong sticky tape. You want something strong. But I, you know, I go for easy. And plus, you know, although you take your time and people will admire it then, they're probably most likely going to throw them away. So you don't want to spend a lot of money or time or use all your, you know, adhesives on these things. So what I did is I had a little, um, here, a mini stapler. I don't even think there's staples in here. Let me see. Of course there's not. But I used a little mini stapler and I stapled the edges. And I stapled them because, um, I knew I was going to cover it up with, well, for here I did the, um, diaper thing. But... I would do this. I think this would be cute for your pink and purple. Let me see if I can turn this camera because this is terrible. I'm trying to get in the camera. So here we go. So say, imagine this is done and you could put your two little pink, so pink one here and with your little paper punch and maybe a pink one here and it's hard to do with this not being stapled. So maybe something like that I think would be cute. And you could um, always do the diaper pins or any type of like any type of baby stamp you have here. And inside, like I showed, I just stamped, you don't, this is optional. Um, obviously if you don't have a stamp like that. And then I just put a little message on the back that says, you know, thank you. So you could do, you know, you could do it in pink. You could do like, say this was your like this happened to be hers because my friend's theme was brown and blue. You could do this scallop part, um, the scallop part here, maybe this is a little better to see. The scallop part here could be in pink and then you could do the stamping in purple and inking in purple and just keep with your theme that way. And you always can run these through the embossing folders too. They look good. See now the ones, I don't know if you can see on here the texture, but this paper I had already had this run through and that saved me some time. But I've seen um, some people run 
Actually, I don't even know if she did it or it was just I thought of it. But it would be cute if you ran it through an embossing folder too and gave it some texture like with the swirls one or maybe the Swiss dots because they're cute little, um, just little polka dots on there. That would be really cute too on your pink and purple. And then you throw some treats in here. And when you do your treat bag, you do it with a little pink ribbon or do it up and just use the, your coordinating colors. But I just want to show you it's very simple. Nothing you have to buy luckily for this one. Um, it's just something that you cut out and you can use cardstock from AC Moore and Michaels joann's and you like i said you can get two diapers out of every eight and a half by eleven sheet if you do them this way if you don't center them in the middle um so there's one at the top and one at the bottom so i just wanted to share that idea with you and jasmine i hope that clears it up for you um to show you a little better how um how these are made so this is just a rough draft just to if you can imagine you know them being done with your little um with your little flowers or whatever you know, a little embellishment. You could even put a rhinestone in the middle of these flowers would be really cute. Um, if you had a purple and pink one or even a clear one would be really cute. So just wanted to share that idea with you and just um, I really hope that helps you and I hope your shower goes well. And if you happen to do YouTube videos, I would love to see the, um, the outcome and how you did um, on your shower. So um, good luck to you and let me know and email me if you have any more questions. Thanks. Bye.